uh, our notes. Okay, so and also I will share our screen. Ayan, so, ayan, so magandang morning po sa lahat. Ayan. So, uh, uh, <clears throat> hello po, narinig niyo po ba ako? Narinig yes, sir, po? good morning. Okay, good morning po. Ayan. So, we will continue on the last two core that we had. Okay, prepare uh, prepare the search. And the last core is prepare the uh, package. Prepare po. Yay! So, para tapos na natin yung ating core. Ayan, so mga kapag prepare na tayo for our actual. I am I'm so happy kasi I, and also I'm so excited uh, na kahit pa paano ay uh, nagkaroon tayo ng mga information, ideas. How do we prepare these different kind of things? And para pag during the actual, hindi na tayo mga pa kasi... We already have the different uh, terminologies or uh, different procedures how to prepare this different uh, uh, food okay, inside the kitchen. Okay, so uh, uh, here in uh, Kukiri, uh, prepare desserts. Okay, so we will understand what are different, what is dessert, brother, and of course the different uh, ingredients or different uh, procedures how to prepare this kind of dessert. Okay, so dessert is a course that concludes the meal. Okay, so dessert is a course that concludes the meal. It is the finishing meal of a certain kind of course. Pag sinabi kasi natin course uh, sa isang uh, kainan, ito yung uh, may selections ng appetizer, soup, salad, main course, and then the final food that is, they serve to the customer or uh, the final food that you serve okay, to your uh, Uh, kapag meron kayong handaan or meron kayong kainan, ang laging pangtapos ng inyong sabay-sabay uh, na kain is ang the, uh, is dessert. Okay, so yun yung ano ating meaning definition ng ating dessert. So of course, the dessert is consists of sweet foods. Okay, such as made from confection. Okay, it, uh, uh, we have also a dessert uh, beverages, which is dessert wine, liquor. Okay, and we also have a, a different uh, a food that has a coffee, cheeses, nuts, and savory items. Okay, that uh, uh, serve after the main entree. Okay, the term desserts can apply to many confections such as biscuits, cakes, cookies, custards, gelatin, ice creams, pastries, pies, puddings, Sweet soup and tarts, okay, and also fruit is also a, the uh, the common okay dessert that we will uh, offer to our uh, to our course, okay. So fruit is a uh, simple yet uh, considered as a dessert. Kasi bakit? Kahit hindi mo na ng matamis yan, pag hinayyan mo na prutas, automatic yan. It will serve as a dessert, okay. So. Uh, <clears throat> Kaya, kaya sinasabi nila, uh, fruit is the simplest or simplest form of dessert. Okay, simple dessert is called the fruits. Okay, so kagaya ng uh, apple, uh, banana, oranges, grapes. Okay, that eat after our dishes. Okay, so consider as a dessert. So we have here different uh, dessert. Okay, so sample that we had is came from sugar cooking. Sabihin, this kind of dessert as, is created okay, through the help of the sugar or through the melting of sugar. Or the main ingredients of this dessert is the sugar. Okay, so number one is a, uh, <clears throat> a syrup. Okay. <clears throat> okay, syrup is a kind of a uh, uh, sugar, uh, uh, not, not sugar dessert. Okay, so actually pwede kasi when we use a sugar, okay, we we can create candies, uh, candies out of sugar na, kin, uh, na ginagawa nating dessert. Kagaya sa amin, we, we created a, a crystal sugar which is uh, made from a, uh, uh, anong, anong, wait lang, wait lang, wait lang. Uh, made from melting of sugar which is sugar that is not typically the white sugar or the brown sugar. Okay, or the, uh, yeah, that's, then, no, 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 that's not uh, Sugar na, ang tawag sa isomalt. Yeah, isomalt. What is this isomalt? Isomalt is a kind of sugar for a uh, highly conservative people na ayaw ng, ayaw ng sugar na matamis na pang dagdag ng diabetes. Kung parang, 
it is, uh, isomalt is a kind of sugar that is good for diabetes. Ibig sabihin, it is a sugar na hindi siya nagdadagdag ng carbohydrates or ng uh, glucose sa katawan natin, pero matamis siya. Okay? Medyo may kamahalan nga lang kung tinatawag natin isomalt kasi ang per gram nito, for example, we have a 250 grams is weighing for about 500 pesos na yung ganong kalaking, uh, uh, ganong kadaming uh, isomalt. Okay. Ang kagandahan kayo sa isomalt, ito kasi yung uh, uh, sugar na ginagawa pang candy. Okay. Pang candy po yan. Yung nakikita nyo, bibili nyo po mga candy sa sa malls. Okay. Na, di ba may nakikita kayo sa, sa, sa YouTube or kaya sa, sa, sa Facebook na uh, candy na na sugar, mini melted sugar tapos binubuo, tapos ginagawa nila maliliit na ganyan, tapos sinachop nilang ganun. Okay, doon po galing ang tinatawag nating isomalt. So it is a kind of sugar, okay, pero good siya for uh, hindi siya pangdagdag ng pangdiabetes natin. Okay, so we will we have that in our kitchen. Pagkatapos lang. Ah, ano po? Ano po mang penus? Ayan. So Sorry. para siyang equal, kung, kung pamilya kayo sa equal na sugar, kaya lang kasi itong equal na to is a kind of sugar na uh, hindi siya nabubuo like a candy. At okay, compared with the isomalt, yun, nabubuo siya like a candy. Kasi matigas yan kapag na-reach nyo yung tamang temperature okay, sa paggawa ng uh, isomalt natin. Okay, yun po yung ginagawa nating mga... Uh, crystal candy. Pakita ko nga sa inyo para at least may idea kayo how this isomalt uh, uh, being created. Sa amin, sa cookie namin, ginamit namin to as a, uh, a crystal. Okay? Share ko sa inyo yung, ano, yung uh, video. I picture. Ayan. So ito po yung sample ng isomalt o nagagawa ng isomalt. As you can see in the, in the picture, ito pong nasa gilid. Okay, so yan yan, yun nakakapag-create ng mga crystals. Okay, so sugar po yan. Ayan, sugar yan ha. Okay, created by an isomalt. Ayan, so yan yung mga nakikita nyo nasa side. Okay, yan. So ganyan yung ginagawa namin as a part ng presentation. Okay, ng, I think I have here the picture ata. Let me check nga. I-check nga yung picture. Alam ko meron ako nun eh. Na nagawa namin yung ano dessert para at least sa uh, ayun may idea kayo na yun din yung ginagamit naming sugar sa pag-create ng aming dish Kaya lang ang kaganda ang, ang kailangan lang natin talaga dito is the right temperature kasi pag hindi natin na reach yung right temperature sa ganitong klasing pagkain at sa ganitong isomalt hindi natin siya mabubuo. Kung lang makikita nyo siya. Yeah, this one. Kung makikita nyo siya sa screen. Ay, hindi makikita. Wait lang. Tanggalin ko yung background. Ayan po. Ayan. So, nakikita nyo po yung ginagawa ng ating competitor nung last. Ayan. So, you can see in the picture. Yeah, so meron pong kulay puti na crystals. Yan po yung ginamit naming isomalt. So it's a kind of a sugar. Ayan, kagaya na nakikirate na nakikita niya sa picture kanina. Okay, yan po yan. Ayan, so sample po yun ng, ano, ng paggawa ng isomalt natin. So, okay, so let me uh, continue again my, my notes. Okay, so uh, that uh, sugar or the basic principles of sugar is just self, uh, melt okay, the sugar or together with a water. Okay, so kailangan i-melt natin sugar kasama yung water kasi without the water, our sugar, uh, our sugar will easily burn. Okay, 
Uh, so through the help of the water, it will liquefy the sugar and it, it, it took for a longer cooking time, which is mas maganda siya kasi mas crystal yung nagagawa natin dessert out of sugar. Okay, another another dessert na pwede natin uh, uh, prepare is we have here the crema glaze. Okay, crema glaze or crema glaze, okay, or vanilla custard sauce. It is a sauce, okay, made out of milk, sugar, egg yolks, and of course, additional of vanilla. Okay, so na ginagawa po natin na milk, sugar, egg yolks. Okay, and then you had your vanilla. Ito po yung uh, crema glaze is an example of sauce. Okay, for a uh, uh, kind of uh, sweet dessert. Okay, ninalagay nila. Okay, sa isang klaseng uh, putahe. Okay, na kung saan itong uh, crema glaze na to, okay, uh, hindi siya buo na like a, kasi ang ingredients sa kasi is milk, sugar, egg yolks, and vanilla. So parang iniisip nyo na, ito na yung basic uh, ingredients ng paggawa ng leche flan. So ang pagkakaiba na itong crema glaze na to, hindi siya buo. Okay, hindi siya buo kagaya na may molds. Okay, which is kagaya ng mga ginatinatawag natin mga baked custards. Okay, custard is a kind of a, a dessert that has uh, also have the milk, sugar, and eggs. And then you add a flavoring okay, for it. And then ang, ang pagkakaiba lang nito ni, ni custard kay crema glaze, si, si, si custard kasi nakamold eh or may, may mold siya. And you need to cook it okay, for a longer period of time para mabuo siya. Okay, like a... Uh, Like, like a lesser flan or kaya a uh, round molder or kaya uh, uh, any, any kind of molder. So yun yung pagkakaiba ni custard kay crema glaze. Si crema glaze, para siyang sauce. Okay, para siyang, uh, basta liquid form siya na matamis. Okay, uh, pwede rin natin gawin yan sa ating cookie natin. And we have here the pastry cream. Okay, contains of uh, eggs. Okay, uh, thickener. Thickener is like flour. Okay, sa so, uh, Usually, ang pastry cream, nagagawa siya using the mixture of a water, butter, and flour. Okay, then pagkatapos, pagkatapos niya siya ma-melt, okay, lalagyan siya ng itlog. Okay, uh, one at a time yung paglagay ng itlog para maging cream siya. And then ilalagay siya sa, uh, sa oven para ma-bake. And then para siyang cream puff. Okay, na style. Then lalagyan na siya ng filling sa gitna. Ang pwede natin filling sa gitna, either custard or crema glaze. Okay, so yan yung example natin na pwedeng gamitin natin sa cookie or during the actual natin. We have also uh, the Bavarian. Okay, Bavarian is uh, known as a uh, cream Bavarios. Okay, which is made, made up of three uh, ingredients which is the crema glaze. Okay, crema glaze, what example, ano ang ingredients ng crema glaze? Milk, egg, and sugar. Okay, so uh, ang Bavarian daw is meron daw lang siyang additional na gelatin and whipped cream. Okay, so yun the example natin ng Bavarian. Okay, and we have also another dessert which is a chiffon. Okay, chiffon is a, a kind of a cake, okay, that uh, uh, made out of a uh, creaming the butter and or the fats. And uh, we also have the what you call the meringue. We sabi yung sinaseparate natin yung egg yolk sa egg white. Tapos yung egg white ginagawa natin meringue. Okay, and then we mix okay, into uh, our, uh, what you call this, uh, uh, butter mixture and then we bake it. So that is chiffon. Ito yung mga malalambot na uh, tinapay kagaya ng mga mamon na nakita nyo sa supermarket. O kaya sa mga bakery yung mga uh, chiffon na uh, magkataklop or kaya yung mga, basta yung malalambot na mga tinapay. That is the chiffon. And matapin, matamis po ito. Okay, so ano pa yung mga bases natin sa paggawa ng chiffon? We have the starch, which is the flour. We have here the thickening agent, which is the egg, and the thick, uh, thickened by egg and starch. Ito yung pagsasama niya. Okay, pinasasama natin yung uh, egg and starch natin. Okay, we have here another dessert, which is the mousse, which is ginagawa natin to sa kusina. Okay, the, the mousse type. Okay, so ano naman, pag ano naman ang mga mousses natin? We have here the white mousse, the chocolate mousse, okay, the light mousse, and the heavy mousse. Okay, so yung apat yan, ha? we have here the white mousse, which is we are using uh, uh, white chocolate. Okay, we have here the chocolate mousse, which is we are using the dark chocolate. Okay, we have here what you call a uh, uh, light mousse. 
Pag sinabi nating light most, it is a kind of, ayun, yung nakikita nyo dyan sa, sa picture, yung nasa gitna, that's light most. Okay, na kung saan, two is to one. Okay, ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin, mas marami yung cream kesa dun sa chocolate. Okay, na ginagamit natin. That is the light mousse. And we have here the heavy mousse, which is mas marami naman yung chocolate compared sa ating cream. Okay, so yun yung mga iba't ibang mga mousses na pwede natin gawin dito sa cookery natin. And another one, we have a dessert souffle. souffle. Okay, itong uh, dessert souffle is like with, uh, it is like with lava cake. Ito yung cake na kung saan kapag once na kinat mo yung gitna, meron siyang oozy effect o yung meron siyang nagpo-flow na blood or na chocolate inside of this kind of dessert. That's the perfect dessert souffle. Okay, we have here the white souffle or which is the vanilla souffle and we have here the chocolate souffle which is as you can see in the picture. Okay, so pwede rin natin yung gawin sa loob ng kusina. Medyo may kahirapan lang to kasi the stages okay, ng paggawa ng souffle is kailangan napaka maingat ka with the ingredients. Kasi kung hindi tama yung ingredients at hindi tama yung inyong uh, temperature ng oven at yung tools na gagamitin niyo sa paggawa ng souffle, hindi yun siya magagawa ng maayos. Okay, we have here uh, the stages of uh, souffle. We have here the base, which is uh, the most heavy Okay, heavy starch like a uh, thicken preparation such as pastry cream or sweetened white sauce. We have here the egg yolks. Okay, egg whites and the baking procedure. Okay, to cook this kind of souffle. Okay, aside sa mga uh, starch bases dessert natin, we have also a uh, frozen desserts. So these are uh, dessert okay, that you need to uh, shield or freeze inside a freezer in order for you to, to get the quality or the right serving of this kind of dessert. We have here the sample is the ice cream. Okay, Ice cream is a smooth frozen mixture of milk, cream, sugar, flavoring, and sometimes with egg. Okay, So yan do yung uh, definition ng ating ice cream. We have here the Philadelphia style, which is uh, a kind of ice cream that has no eggs. And we have here the French style ice cream, which is a kind of ice cream contains an egg yolks. Okay. And then because the eggs added uh, gives the richness. Okay. And also, of course, it makes the ice cream smoother and emulsify, and emulsify okay, to the properties of the egg yolk. We have what you call the ice milk. Okay. What is this ice milk? Okay. It's like an ice cream, but it's but the milk okay, na ginagamit dito sa, sa ice cream natin is low okay, butter fat or low in fat okay, na milk ang ginagamit natin dito sa ice cream na to. Okay, and we have also the frozen yogurt. Okay, frozen yogurt, yogurt contains additional ingredients. Oh, it is a yogurt okay, that contains ice cream or ice milk. Okay, so ang tawag doon is frozen yogurt. We have here the survey. Okay, or sorbet. Pero yung parang sa survey. Ano pagkakaiba ng survey sa ice cream? Ang ice cream kasi, it is a kind of uh, dessert that has a base of cream. Ang survey hindi. Ang survey is, a, ang kanyang uh, base is ice. Okay, that contains a juice, syrup, or any sugar. Okay, na ginagamit na kagaya ng, and I don't know if you're familiar with this, ice noble. Okay, ice noble is a kind of ice, uh, it's a kind of survey. It's a kind of ice cream that made out of extract of juice. Okay, sugar or syrup na ginagamit natin together with this kind of dessert. Okay, and also, uh, alam niyo yung scramble na binibili natin tuwing hapon pag mainit, di ba? Yung uh, kulay pink, tapos merong chocolate syrup, tapos merong, uh, ano yun, yung powdered, cream, powdered milk na nilalagay, di ba? I, I don't know if, if hello, uh, alam niyo po ba yun, yung scramble? <laughs> Ice scramble? Pa, ina, alam niyo po ba yun? <laughs> Na-encounter niyo na po ba yun? Hello po? Yes, alam? sir. Yan. Di ba po yung gana Example po yun ng survey na 
ating dessert. Basta ang, uh, ang pagkakaiba ng survey sa ice cream, ang ice cream by cream. Itong survey wala. It's just an ice, okay, and together with the si si uh, uh, syrup or uh, juices of extra of some fruits. Okay, na ginagamit natin. Okay, so we have here the still frozen dessert. Okay, pag sinabi natin still frozen dessert, is a kind of dessert that has a force, a combination of survey and a cream. Okay, then it needs to be chilled or frozen before mo siya i-prepare. Okay, ito yung gumagamit tayo ng iba't ibang mga molder okay, para ma-perform natin yung ating dessert. So kasi in the picture, it, it is not just around. So gumamit tayo ng molde for that. And then sa loob niyan, meron siyang feelings. Okay, either pwede yung maging cream or kaya or ice cream or kaya uh, mousse ang nasa gitna ng spear na yan. And nakikita niyo sa sa ano natin sa sa picture. Okay? So, uh, frozen dessert is a combination, okay, of a uh, ice cream or survey a kind of dessert. Okay? The next uh the next part tayo ng ating dessert. Ay, the Tosanita sales, we already have that. Okay, so we have here the okay preparing the dessert and sauces. Okay, so of course we need to uh, first uh, the ingredient is sugar. Okay, it is the common element linking virtually in all desserts. Okay, because kailangan ng dessert is kailangan sweet. So sugar is the main ingredient in preparing of dessert because it gives sweetness. Okay, the second one is the gelatin. Okay, so as you can see in the picture, it is used for many cold molded desserts. Egg yolk, okay, may, may be used as a flavoring and of course as a thickening agent, okay, in our dessert. Okay, egg whites uh, is used, okay, to trap the mixture and form a bubbles. Okay, ito yung sa tinatawag nating mga merang. Okay, sa souffle, ginagamit natin yan. Fruits are also used in ingredients, uh, in our desserts rather. We have also the cream. Okay, sa cream meron tayong light cream, heavy cream, at meron tayong cooking cream, at meron tayong whipped cream. Okay, yung mga cream na yun, nagbabaris nagba nagba yan, depende sa fat content. Okay, syempre, the, the, yung mas mabilis na mas thicken, mag thickening, mag -thicken, mas mataas yung kanyang fat content. Kaya mas mataas ang fat content ng uh, whipped cream compared sa light cream or mga other creams na nakikita natin. All-purpose cream is a 50-50 uh, on. Meron siyang 50% na fat at 50% na cream. Okay, na kung saan minsan, uh, pwede natin siyang gamitin as a whipped cream or kaya as a uh, for our food. Okay, and also the dessert. Okay, and butters. Okay, butter is a mixture or uh, uh, ingredients composed of uh, liquid and uh, dry ingredients kagaya ng paggawa natin ng cake okay uh, yung paghalo ng flour at ng itlog at iba pang mga liquid ang sample po diyan tinatawag natin siyang batter mixture so it's a combination of liquid and dry ingredients mayroon na tang question opo ayan di ba sabi ni ma'am pen ni daniel penos ayan okay then we have uh Another ingredients of our dessert, okay, we have here the nuts, okay, so we can use nuts as a part of our dessert, okay, and of course, ito yung pinaka-favorite kong part ng dessert, ang chocolate. We have different types of chocolate na pwede natin mabilis sa, uh, sa ating supermarket or uh, tama, supermarket. We have here the baking chocolate, which is a uh, uh, chocolate good for baking. We have here the bittersweet chocolate. Okay, pag bitter sweet so chocolate, these are a kind of uh, a classification of dark. Okay, chocolate that has a, a, a additional sugar. Okay, so medyo mapakla siya, tapos matamis. Okay, semi-sweet is, uh, semi is half and half. So, ibig sabihin, mapakla pa rin siya. Okay, pero hindi, hindi naman siya ganun katamis. Okay, we have here the milk chocolate. It's a kind of chocolate that, that has a milk. Okay, so syempre kulay tute itong chocolate na to. We have here the cocoa powder. Okay, so it is a uh, a chocolate made, made out of a, a powder made out of 
cocoa beans. Okay, we have here the... Ano daw yan? Ano yun? Ay, nawala. Wala. Uh oh Ano daw yun? Hindi ko mabasa. Corvetour? Corvetour? Hindi ko mabasa yung ano. Sobra yung, yung dalawang chocolate. Hindi ko siya mabasa. Pero parang feeling ko, cocoa bites. Parang mga, ito yung mga mga chocolate chips na maliliit. Okay, I think that is, uh, okay, example din yan ng chocolate na meron din tayo. Ba't tayo bumabalik dun sa ano? Mabalik tayo sa pinakataas. Bakit? <laughs> okay, so another natin ingredients natin, okay, of baking, we have here the sugar. So we have different type of sugar na pwede natin gamitin. Meron tayong tinatawag na graduated sugar. Ito yung uh, ginagamit nating uh, sugar sa household, the uh, white sugar. Okay, example niya ng granulated sugar. Okay, meron tayong tinatawag na caster sugar. Okay, it is a, a fine, okay, mas, mas pino siya sa granulated sugar na nakikita natin. Okay, para siyang parehas ng texture ng asin, okay, itong granulated, uh, itong custard sugar, mas pino siya. Okay, pero matamis to ha. We have here the confectioner sugar. Okay, ito naman yung ginagamit for icing kasi it is a kind of a sugar that has a mixture of flour. Okay, and white sugar or fine white sugar okay so that is confectioner sugar we have also the brown sugar okay so ginagamit siya usually for a brown sauce okay so brown sugar meron tayong uh, light brown dark brown and muscovado no okay so uh, <clears throat> another natin is okay yun na yun <laughs> wait wait meron pa to ano to bakit ayaw mo mo lumabas But ayaw niya lumabas. Okay, but ayaw niya lumabas. Ayan. Okay, lumabas na siya. So we have here the cream. Okay, so as uh, we can use in our dessert, the butter and then the nuts. Okay, we have different sauces Okay, that we can use in our uh, our dessert. Okay, we have here uh, sweet sauce. It's a flavor, flavored liquid blend in the ingredients that adds flavor and enhances the appearance of the food. Fudge is a, a soft connection made of butter, sugar, and chocolate. Uh, a sauce can give entirely different appearance of flavor or color or moisture to the dessert. Okay, we have different uh, sauce that used for dessert. We have here the rich sauce, which is suited for simple dessert. Okay, light sauce suited for rich dessert. Hot fudge, as you can see in the picture. Hot sauces are made from uh, just before they are being used. Okay, ano ba yung mga hot sauces natin na uh, pang dessert natin like uh, caramel? Ayan, sa example natin yan ng uh, uh, hot dessert, uh, hot sauces natin. And we have here the cold sauces are cooked ahead of time and then cooled and covered and put in a refrigerator to chill. And then we just drizzle it. Example natin ng cold sauces yung strawberry syrup yan. So example natin yan. Okay, ng cold sauces. Okay, we have here the thickening agent for uh, our dessert. We can use a eggs, rice, starch, and creams. Okay, and then we can add a, a flavor. Okay, such as different seasonings natin ng mga fruits and spices natin. Actually, spices ang ginagamit natin dito. Yung seasonings. Okay, like nutmeg, uh, cinnamon, ayan. So example yan ng ating mga spices natin. Okay, most dessert sauces are fall into three categories. We have here the custard sauce, which is a vanilla custard sauce or chocolate or other flavor may be added to create varieties. So that is the custard sauce. 
Okay, composed of milk, sugar, and egg plus the vanilla. Okay, we have here the, uh, the fruit puree. Okay, this is a simply puree of fresh or cooked fruits sweetened with sugar or other flavorings and spice sometimes will be added. For example, a guy ng blueberry sauce, strawberry sauce, makapuno, okay, uh, orange sauce, mga ganyan. And we have here the syrup. Okay, such so as product use of either chocolate sauce or a caramel sauce. Okay, so chocolate is a, uh, from chocolate bar added with sugar. And caramel sauce is a uh, sugar, okay, plus uh, uh, oil, okay, natin, or fats. Okay, then we add sugar on it to make it sweet. Okay, that is caramel sauce natin. Okay, so we have here another... Okay, stages of sugar. Ayan, importante din to. Dapat alam nyo to. Okay. Uh, conveteur. Okay. Coveteur. Corveteur chocolate daw. Sabi ni ma'am. Uh, ayan, si ma'am. Okay lang po yan, ma'am Myla. Okay, si sabi ni ma'am uh, Ophelia, it's a coveteur. Okay, coveteur. Okay, corbitur chocolate is a kind of dark chocolate. Okay, it is a dark chocolate. <clears throat> okay, that is a high quality dark chocolate. That is corbitur. Kung yung sinabi ni Mang Orpillo sa chat box natin. Okay, we continue. Okay, so we have here different uh, <clears throat> uh, thread of sugar, uh, a temperature of sugar or stage of sugar Okay, in our dessert. Okay, so in order for you to have a thread in sugar, so you need to cook the sugar for about 230 degree Fahrenheit or 110 degrees Celsius and you create the thread. Okay, itong thread na to, ito yung nakikita nyo yung mga uh, parang ano, caramel hair. Okay, yung pag ginanon nyo yung sugar, ng kutsara tapos meron siyang drips. Okay, so tapos pwede nyo siyang uh, kuhanin ng kuhanin hanggang sa makagawa kayo ng web, parang ganyan. So that is what you call thread. So kailangan nyo daw lutuin yung sugar ng 110 degree Celsius or for, uh, 230 degree Fahrenheit. Softball. Okay, at, uh, we need to cook naman for about 115 degree Celsius or 240. Firm ball. Ito naman yung matitigas na like candy. Okay, so we have here uh, the temperature and the hard ball and the small crack. Okay, small crack. Ito naman yung fine crack. Okay, so you can see usually pag nagagawa kayo ng leche flan, no? Okay, so that's small crack. Okay, kapag crack naman and hard crack, ayan, so pag hard crack, ito yung medyo mas malalaki yung crack niya at mas matibay siya o hindi siya basta-basta nakakrack. Okay, kaya tatawag siyang hard crack. And we have here the caramel, okay, which is cooked for about 160 to 170 degrees Celsius. At ang, ang, ang measurement or thermometer na pwede natin gamitin dito sa ating sugar is what's called candy thermometer. Okay, ito po yung glass type thermometer na pwedeng gamitin sa mga sugar. Okay, hindi po pwedeng gamitin yung meat thermometer kasi ang meat thermometer meron siyang uh, metal form kasi yun. So meron siyang specific na, na, na purpose sa meat. Okay, sa... Sa candy thermometer naman, glass naman yung gamit natin dito. Okay? Para makuha natin yung tamang temperature ng ating uh, sugar. Okay? Ang gamit natin is candy thermometer. Okay? So we have here that the, the procedure how to make the crema glaze as you can see in the also in our notes. Okay? Sa ating, CBL, uh, sa ating uh, Neo LMS, makikita nyo rin yan. You can download it. Okay? No? We have here the vanilla souffle. Okay, we have here the vanilla cream, uh, pastry cream or cream puff, vanilla cream puff. We have here the baked custard or yung left chef lang na kina-encounter natin. We have here the bread and butter pudding. Okay, so pudding is a uh, out, uh, you made from a leftover bread. Ayan, so leftover bread ang pudding natin. Dado mo naman yung pinto. Hindi na rin. 
So we have here the chocolate sauce and the caramel sauce. Okay. Okay, so chocolate sauce, how to make the chocolate sauce? Simply lang. You need to have a three ingredients. Uh, four ingredients like water, sugar, corn syrup, and of course your chocolate. Okay, for the caramel, ang kailangan nyo lang dito, sugar, water, lemon juice, heavy cream, milk. And just simply add a, a dash of salt. Okay, para contrast lang doon sa sugar na gagamitan ninyo. Okay, we have here the task sheet. Okay, of preparing a chocolate mousse. Kaya gagawin natin yan sa ating pukiri. <clears throat> Okay, so we have here the different varieties of dessert. Okay, number one is biscuits or cookies. Okay, so we can have that kind of uh, dessert. Okay, uh, made out of biscuits or cookies natin. Cakes. Okay, so example din natin yan ng ating dessert. Okay, so pwede tayong uh, mag-create ng layer uh, dessert and then coat natin siya ng cream and then maglagay tayo ng design sa ibabaw. Okay, so that is for a dessert. Okay, chocolate and candies. Ayan. Okay, so custard and puddings. Okay, so pwede natin gamitin yan. Okay, we have here the deep fried desserts like donuts. Ayan. Or kaya uh, mga uh, simple, ano yun yung uh, butche. Ayan, example yan ang pwede natin uh, uh, deep fried dessert. Yeah, yung butche. Okay. We have here the frozen desserts. Okay, these are desserts that are need to be freeze or you need a, a very cold temperature. Okay, in order for you to make this dessert. Okay, the jellies. Okay, used for a gelatin. Okay, and then uh, with a uh, cream on top. Okay, we have here the pastry, which is a, a kind of sweet uh, dessert. Okay, made out of flour. Okay, like a uh, croissant, cream puff. Okay, we have also the pies, cobblers, and clafouti. Okay, itong uh, cobblers na to, ito yung mga may hulmang mga uh, uh, fruit or vegetable. Okay, so we have here the sweet soup. Ayan, so example siya ng tungsi. Pero sa atin kasi, itong sweet soup na to, Hindi natin siya ginagawa. Ang ginagawa natin dito, nilalagyan natin siya ng gata. Kaya lumalabas yung uh, ginataang halo-halo or kaya uh, yung ginataang kamote, yung kinatawag ng uh, ano? alpahoy. Alpahoy ba? Alpahoy ba yung tawag doon? Yung ginataang ano, kamoting dilaw? Hindi yun espasol eh, alpahoy. Uh, I don't know. Tama ba ma'am? Ano, sa mga nandito mga mother... Okay, I, I I don't know if you encounter a, a kind of a uh, ginataang kamote ng kamoting dilaw. May tawag yun eh. May tawag na Tagalog yun eh. Alpahoy ba yung tawag doon? Sige ma'am, mga, mga, nani, mga mother dito, kung nakagawa na kayo ng ganong dessert, meron po ba? <laughs> ng ganyan. Okay, so... Ma'am? Wala po. Ay, hindi nyo pa na-encounter. Hindi Kasi pa usually, po. ano lang, ginatang halo-halo, ginatang bilo-bilo lang, no? Yun yung oh, mga po. purple, ano, purple na ginatang. Meron kasing tawag yun sa amin. Yung dessert na meron, meron siyang mga sagong maliliit, tapos may, may, uh, may gata, tapos para siyang uh, ginataang kamoting dilaw. Ano yung tawag ko na, alam ko yung matawag. At kaka, yan, ginagawa kasi yun yung, ano, ni, ni, ni mama nang pag nagbebenta siya ng mga desserts niya. Okay, so kasta ano niya katumbas na yung ano, ginitang halo-halo. And we have also uh, a kind of uh, uh, pies like uh, buko pie, pineapple pie, uh, egg pie, ayan. So pwede natin yan uh, gamitin as dessert. Okay, so we have here the clafouti. Okay, so clafouti is a kind of uh, dessert, okay, made out of uh, fruit and vegetable din siya, okay, sweetened. Okay, so <clears throat> and so tinigan ko yung ano, tinigan ko yung picture na sample ng clafouti para din siyang ano custard. Okay, na 
niluto siya sa baking pan. Okay, so kaya lang ito, gumagamit lang sila ng uh, parang blueberry ata at saka red berry yung gamit niya dito. So it's like the same with pudding. Okay, na na ano nila na naginawa. Okay, so another another pa tayo discussion natin for the dessert varieties. Oh, kung makikita niyo yung mga self-check natin, ang hirap-hirap ng mga self-check, pero go lang yan, laban lang yan. Okay, what are nutritions that we can use, uh, that we uh, that we will inherit here in our dessert? We have here the Okay, carbohydrates, fats, and vitamins and minerals ang pwede natin makuha sa dessert natin. Okay, so another... Alam ko meron pa dito eh. Meron pang magandang mga andito. Uh, information sheet ng ating dessert. Okay, how to plate dessert. Ayan, ito, ito yung maganda. Okay, kasi after we prepare the dessert, we are not just uh, serve the dessert in uh, yung mismong lagayan niya and then serve. Na dapat marunong tayo magplating. And ang dessert ang may pinaka uh, magandang uh, i-plating. Okay, ang dessert. Kasi simple lang yan na, na dessert. Okay, and then you just simply add different variety of uh, preparation ng dessert natin. Okay, so plate, how to plate the dessert. Okay, pag sabi natin plated dessert, these are dessert that are arranged already in a plate. Pag sinabi natin, uh, uh, ano to? Uh, plated, so plated, ano yung counterpart ng plated dessert? Um, so Russian yun eh. Platter, okay? Platter dessert. Okay, kapag plated dessert na tinatawag natin, ibig sabihin yung dessert, naka-arrange na siya sa plato. Pag platter, yung waiter o yung server, i-arrange siya o i-prepare yung pagkain sa hanapan ni guest. Okay, and then siya yung mag-arrange sa mismong uh, plato ni, ni customer or guest. Okay, so usually ang plated dessert na uh, ginagawa siya inside the kitchen. Ang platter dessert naman, ginagawa naman siya sa harapan ng mga customer or guest. Ito yung mga tinatawag nating mga uh, flambe. Okay, na mga presentation ng mga aniyan, ng mga chef de rang or mga head waiter or mga chef, okay, sa loob ng kusina. Okay, so to prepare a dessert, kailangan natin ng flavor, taste, texture, temperature and I appeal. So yun yung mga kailangan natin for our Dessert. Okay, so we have here. Okay, we have here the contrast table. Ayan, oh, maganda. Oh, mayroon tayong contrast table. Okay, so seasonally. Okay, so we have here the different uh, season like fall, spring, summer, winter. Okay, which is the flavor of uh, flavor and aroma. Okay, that we can use. Okay, during this, uh, that kind of season, we have here chocolate, vanilla, fruit, spice, and nut. Okay, the taste natin is we have here uh, sweet, salty, bitter, acid, and umami. We have here the texture. Okay lang yan, Diane. Okay, so we have the crunchy, crisp, the brittle. Okay, we have here the chewy, creamy, liquid, icy, tender, and cakey. Okay, so yan yung ating mga... Uh, texture ng dapat dessert natin. And the temperature, the dessert should be have uh, either served, with frozen, uh, served in frozen, chilled, cool, or room temperature, which is warm or hot. Okay, dessert. And the presentation, so always think about the shape, volume, kung ganong karami yung dessert, the color, and the visual texture. Okay, so restaurant dessert. Okay, alam nyo ngayon ang mga restaurant, especially mga Michelin star, ito yung mga class ng mga fine dining restaurant. No? Ang, ang dessert nila kakaiba. Gumagamit sila ng factor ng nature, kagaya na kita nyo sa picture. That is a dessert. Okay, pero it look like a bark okay, of a uh, 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 tree. 
Okay, that is uh, placed in the ground. Okay, pero dessert po yan. Okay, may attribute yan. Ngayon, ang mga dessert natin, gumagamit tayo na tinatawag nating uh, gastro, uh, gastronomic, no, molecular, molecular gastronomy technique. Ito yung gumagamit tayo ng mga uh, uh, ano to, scientific tools. Okay? Uh, para ma-prepare yung dessert natin, kagaya for example, ng, uh, ng smoke gun. Ayan, gumagamit tayo niyan. Uh, hand blender. Okay? Gumagamit tayo niyan. Yung spray brush. Ayan, pasok din yan sa ating molecular gastronomy. Okay, yung pag, paggamit din ng uh, dry ice. Okay, uh, na kung saan para maging uh, tumigas agad yung dessert natin. So part yan ng, yung tawag natin molecular gastronomy. Okay, sa atin sa kusina, hindi natin magagawa yung molecular gastronomy kasi wala tayong ganong klase ng equipment. That equipment is only intended for every culinary school. And syempre, dahil basic lang naman tayo, so we don't have kind of tools and, and equipment. Kaya don't expect too much pagdating doon sa presentation natin ng ano, performance natin ng dessert. Ang importante, ma-prepare natin na meron tayong kung ano yung typical okay, na dessert na meron tayo na pwede natin magawa okay, sa kusina. Okay? Yan, as you can see in the picture, see? Okay, isa kain po yan ng uh, part ng molecular gastronomy. Okay, di ba? Ang ganda. Okay, so sana magawa natin. Ayan, so usually ito lang magagawa natin as you can see in the picture. Ayan, yan yung magagawa natin mga dessert. So not bad. Okay, for a uh, cookery and sito natin, mga basic lang culinary studies natin. No? So not bad na yan. Kaya huwag na kayo magtampo kung ano. Kung hindi na natin magawa yung mga ginagtinatawag natin mga molecular gastronomy, no? May costing sila dito, oh. May costing din yung CBLM natin. Totoo, dapat naman talaga kailangan natin yung costing. Kasi kung walang costing, hindi natin mawibenta yung ating mga product. Okay, so storage of dessert natin. Storage tayo. Okay, so store dessert natin. So serve the following guidelines and storing and handling desserts. Okay, so we have here desserts containing uncooked eggs should be handled with extra care because the raw egg is a medium in which dangerous okay, in forming of bacteria such as salmonella can thrive. This, may, uh, this, this means you may uh, need to be really careful with the food like a chocolate mousse and uncooked cheesecake. Okay, that containing egg and egg whites in, in preparations. Egg custard contains protein which is provides a good, uh, good food for bacteria. If custard are not heated or cooled properly, because, uh, it will kick, uh, quickly uh, have the bacteria. Okay, so kailangan aware din tayo sa ganyan, lalo yung mga pagkain na gagamitan natin ng mga eggs. Any dessert that is not required for immediate consumption may be cooled rapidly and stored in cold rooms until required to be served. Okay? So again, ha? any dessert that not required immediate consumption, hindi yung hindi pang kakainin agad, all you have to do is to store in the cool places, a cool, a cold room or freezer. Okay? Para ma-maintain yung kanyang uh, quality. Kasi pag hindi at nag-room temperature yan, Papu ba mangugara na yan ng mga bacteria? Okay? If you plan to keep prepare, uh, pre-prepare desserts hot until service, make sure the temperature of the food is over 65 degrees Celsius kasi yan yung natawag nating critical control point. Kailangan more than 65 degrees Celsius para hindi mag-grow yung bacteria natin kasi the start of burning or the start of uh, dying the bacteria is for about 65 degrees Celsius or mahigit or 135 degrees Fahrenheit or more than that. So it will kill the bacteria. Okay, when we use uh, milk and cream, okay, in desserts, okay, they must not be left to stand in the room temperature. Hindi daw natin pwedeng iwanan ang, ang uh, ang uh, cream at ang gata sa room temperature ng mahabang panahon or else it will get spoiled. Ito yung aasim at babaho yung gatas kasi nga may bakteriya kasi yung gatas na yan. Okay, na kung saan pwede siyang mag-turn into a spoilage agad okay, ng ating gatas. Kaya bago kayo sa kusina natin, no? okay, sa, sa inyo, sa inyo, sa bahay ninyo, 
bago nyo inumen yung mga gatas ninyo, i-check nyo lagi yung yung smell niya kung okay pa ba siya or hindi na. Kasi pag, pag alam nyo maasig na yung kamoy niya, hindi na siya good for consumption, spoiled na siya. Okay, so many dessert have limited storage life. Okay, make sure to check with your supervisor or follow organizational requirements. Okay, marami daw tayong desserts na limited lang daw yung kanyang storage life. Especially for those desserts that are not too sweet. Okay, yung hindi masyadong matamis na dessert, yan, madali yung mapare. Especially pag gumamit tayo ng cream, milk, at saka ng egg. Okay? Okay, different kinds of desserts requires a different treatment when it comes to storing. We have dairy-based dessert. Pag sinabi na yung dairy, uh, dairy uh, based dessert, these are desserts that are based in milk, eggs, and cream. Okay, kailangan daw siyang i-store sa 4 degrees Celsius or pababa, going to frozen uh, temperature. Okay, kapag fruit and pastry-based dessert naman, okay, so... We, we will still need to keep in the chill. Okay, sa so chill daw natin siya pwedeng ilagay. Chill temperature for about 4 to 6 degree or 4 to 6 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Or 30, 29 degree Fahrenheit to 45. Ah, no, 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 35 lang. 35 degree Fahrenheit. Okay. Yun yung tinatawag natin mga cold, uh, cool room uh, or kaya mga chill temperature. We have also the bacon pastry we can store. Okay, store. Okay, store natin in room temperature. Sa room temperature lang daw natin siya. Until required, it protected from adverse condition from outside contamination such as species disc and short breast disc, uh, short bread disc and shells. Okay, so ano lang siya, uh, room temperature. Sometimes mga ano lang, mga uh, cold rooms lang din. Okay, for example, mga temperature niya, mga, uh, mga 7 degrees Celsius or kaya mga 140 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, non-dairy items uh, sometimes do not need to be chilled. Okay, when being stored, pastry products and garnish only need to be kept in source of environment. I'm keeping uh, to keep in secured from the environment, then wrap in the food safe containers and label. Okay, sugar based garnishes need to be stored in food safe containers and well wrapped. This is to stop the moisture from the air, causing the product to soften. The glazed food can be stored in room temperature and kept in the syrup, kept in syrup with which they are where for chase or they will start to de dehydrate and lose the or lose sheen. Okay, so yan yung mga uh, storage natin. Okay, another natin for pastry shells. Okay, so mga pastry shells natin, or puff pastry shells. Okay, so kailangan doon natin siyang uh, lutuin sa ating oven for about 325 degree for over sa oven for about 5 or until warm. Okay, yung mga plate at shoe. Okay, so a cream puff pastry for eclairs or cream puff can be stored in rigid or airtight, or airtight containers in the freezer for about five days now. Okay, we have another is butter cream. Okay, so clean container tayo and refrigerator. And it, you, it, if you want to freeze it, you can freeze it until a month, yung kanyang uh, shelf life. Ang whipped cream, whipping cream naman, okay, so ibitin or not whip, okay, so we just simply add sugar on it or vanilla before whipping to stabilize, okay, you need, uh, you need to have a gelatin. So you can uh, uh, keep the whipping cream for a night. Royal icing naman is uh, refrigerator. Baked sweets is a refrigerator again. And baked pastry disc, okay, freezer. Okay, Pavlovas, okay, we, or Merang, we can uh, store in a clean, airtight metal containers, okay, with the room temperature for about a week. Buttercream is uh, we can store for about one day, okay, one day storage lang siya. Ang cake natin, okay, Airtight container pa rin tayo and it can last for about a month. Marzipan, okay, could last for about two months if refrigerated. 
sponge cake. It lasts for Okay, sa freezer natin for about 2 months. Freezer ha, hindi ref. Pag ref, ano lang yan? 2-3 days lang yan. Zerinol cake. Freezer. Okay, for about 1 week. Creme brulee. Okay, so uh, for keep up refrigerated for 2 days. Steam plum puddings. Okay, for 2 days in refrigerator. Chocolate. Chocolate glaze for about temperature over a night. Refrigerated, two days daw ang kanyang buhay. Lemon curd, okay? Ito yung mga lemon mirang natin. For about uh, 10 days, if refrigerator ko, kailangan cover daw siya. Ang caramel sauce natin with several days kapag chilled or and reheated again. Kapag, kapag gagamit ng reheated lang. Ang crema glaze natin for refrigerator, it lasts for about 2 to 3 days. Ang mga fruits natin, kapag refrigerator, it keep, it, it keep for about 3 days. Okay, so yan lang naman yung ating mga storage and the life shelf of our desserts. Okay, so any questions po tayo sa ating dessert? Ayan na. Magagawin naman natin yan, don't worry. I will have additional lectures pa naman kapag once na nag-actual tayo kasi uh, step by step natin gagawin yung ating mga output natin. Okay, so let me share the last uh, CBLM that we had. Okay, prepared package dessert. Yeah. So, konti lang to, konti lang tong uh, natin, tong packaging natin. Okay, ang importante lang natin dito is we know the item, whether it is a dry or a with a liquid. Okay, and then we 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 select the proper container okay for our storage natin konti lang to on 61 61 step lang naman ayan okay we have your different definitions terms uh, definition of terms actually sa ibang mga sa, sa ibang sibela meron pa yang ganito actually i will show you a video for the storage natin Okay, why do we need to have appropriate storage uh, canister or box, okay, for our, uh, uh, I mean, for storing our leftover? Okay, syempre, of course, to, to, to make the, uh, the life make longer, okay, of our food, okay, to prevent the bacteria, okay, of the growth of the bacteria, okay, to... To, to prevent the chemical contaminations. Okay, so kaya kailangan natin may mga packaging tayo. Okay, so package, package characteristic is uh, to ensure that the complete protections of the content. So that is the purpose kung bakit tayo may package. No? So it's to protect, okay, to ensure the complete protections of the, of the contents or of our food. Okay, so the Packaging materials should be suitable to protect the properties and should not be altered the goods, the good qualities of the product. Package characteristic includes the moisture proofness. Mig sabihin yung kanyang uh, sa packaging dapat hindi siya nakapag-create ng moisture. Okay, kaya tinawag siyang moisture proofness, hindi magkaroon ng moisture. Resistant to grease, dapat hindi siya hindi daw siya maging oily. Okay, hindi daw siya mag, uh, mag, uh, tum, uh, uh, to? mag leak Okay, yung kanyang uh, ingredient. Okay, resistance to microorganisms. Okay, so dapat hindi daw siya nagiging uh, uh, pamugaran ng mga organisms. Okay, and resistance to insects and rodents. Okay, ito yung mga ipis at saka mga langaw. Okay, at mga daga. Okay, protection against the light. Okay, sometimes uh, kasi kapag nasisilag sinang araw yung ating mga pagkain, it create moisture and it 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 helps the food to uh, to uh, easily spoil. Okay, kaya dapat hindi natin siya na nabibilad sa mga araw or sa araw, isa na naman ang araw natin at mga okay, nabibilad sa araw and odor retention and absorption. Okay, so yung kanyang smell is ma-maintain yung kanyang uh, uh, ma-maintain yung kanyang smell. Okay, so selections of packaging materials dapat, you need to know your product content. Gaano bang karami yung content ng ilalagay mo sa 
sa storage kung marami ba yan kakaunti ba yan so you will it will help okay for you to choose what type of um, containers okay ang kailangan mo okay sa pag uh, pag store ng ating pagkain okay application of the product isang ba ina-apply itong product na to ina-apply ba to sa sauce ina-apply ba to sa garnish ng ganyan so syempre iba't ibang mga application iba't ibang mga storage Uh, containers, pwede tayo, pwede metal, pwede plastic, pwede glass, okay, pwede styro, uh, ganyan. Okay, content stability. Ano ba ang purpose ng ating storage? Okay, kailangan ma-maintain yung kanyang stability kasi pag hindi na-contain yung, hindi na na -contain yung kanyang stability, possible kasi magkaroon siya ng effect sa mismong pagkain. Okay, for example, kung ang uh, storage ng cake mo, dapat yung box hindi dapat ma- didikit yung box dun sa cake. Okay, kasi pag nadikit mo ya, nadikit mo yung box dun sa cake, possible the content okay will be this uh will be uh, will be now uh ano yan yung masira. Okay, yung pagkain. Okay, so dapat tama yung packaging niya, materials ninyo. Kasi sometimes ninyo, kaya sometimes okay, yung mga manufacturer na or mga business establishment, they spend Okay, they spend money for the packaging kasi it 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 will affect kasi okay uh, the food content. Kapag hindi tama yung packaging mo, okay, and then nakita ni customer, the customer sometimes will get disappointed kasi na dis na nasira yung pagkain, na na na, na destroy mo yung uh, mismong design ng product. So kaya yung maraming establishment they spend time or they spend money for the packaging. Kaya di ba minsan mapapansin nyo, uy, ang ganda naman ang packaging nito. Uy, ano ha, ah, okay yung packaging mo ha, ah, ganyan. Kasi, hindi, ano yun, the packaging is not just for this uh, protection of the of the food, stability of the food, but also it gives a, a marketing. no And uh, di ba tayo minsan, pag pipili tayo ng, uh, ng pagkain, sometimes we check uh, the package, dapat maganda yung packaging kasi packaging also is a factor in order for you to that food to consume or to buy those product kasi packaging is a serve as a uh, uh, a good packaging serve is a good quality of the food okay kaya ganun may mga establishment talaga they spend money for the packaging talaga okay so packaging natin uh, can uh, okay content reactivity dapat hindi do siya nagre-react do sa uh, sa content For example, kagaya ng in-can, ang mga in-can natin. No? So, uh, in order for the food okay, to resist, okay, kasi in-can na siya, no? so kailangan yung mga can is uh, coated with plastic. Okay, di ba pansin nyo sa mga mga can goods natin, meron siyang coat okay, yung ating cans para hindi mag-react yung metal doon sa pagkain. Okay, so kagaya noon, o kaya sa mga papel, Diba ngayon meron tayong mga paper cups no so in order for the paper cups to resist to the liquid that being placed in the cups okay kailangan yung paper cups may wax okay uh, may plastic cover pa siya no sa inside okay para hindi uh, ma magreact yung paper doon sa water okay so mga ganong klasing uh, packaging natin okay kailangan acceptability yung pack yung packaging natin sa customer or consumer okay and of course da kailangan uh, gumamit tayo ng uh, ng container or packaging natin na naka-base siya sa regulatory or legal quality issues okay for example kasi may mga may mga storage equipment tayo na pwedeng maka-harm sa katawan ng tao kagaya ng lead Okay, yung lead na yan is uh, pwede yan na uh, pwede ang lead kasi is a uh, is a ingredient okay that can the plastic be stronger to make make it is more stronger yung lead na yan. So pwede yang uh, sometimes uh, kailangan alamin natin na yung pagkain ay uh, yung packaging dapat lead free. Okay, kasi yung lead na yan ano yan uh, nakakadelikado yan sa ating katawan. Okay, yung lead yun yung ano ingredients doon sa paggawa ng PVC. Ayun na ikita niyo sa mga TV or mga electronic gadgets na kulay green, yung PVC na ganoon. So doon galing doon doon nilalagay yung lead. Okay, so kasi it's plastic kasi yon eh. Okay, it can add to the uh, composition of the plastic. So dapat alam natin yon at 
kailangan yung mga gagamitin nating mga packaging dumaan siya sa legal and regulatory uh, rules and regulations of a certain kind of company or I mean uh, uh, country. Kagaya sa atin, sa Philippines. Okay, dapat dumadaan siya sa mga uh, quality check din natin. Okay, characteristic of packaging dapat I mean the tamper. Pag sinabing tamper yung sara, yung seal, okay, ng uh, packaging natin. It, may, it must be FDA approved. It must be non-tox, non-toxic. Okay, it must be not reactive with the product and they must protect the preparation from the environmental conditions like biglang umulan, tas uminit, tas uh, yung iba nag, yung nag-yelo, mga ganyan, so ganyan. Okay, the use of packaging, number one, physical protection of the food. The second one is the information, of course, that we found in the food, like your nutrition facts. Okay, marketing, it speak about the logo, okay, and the slogan, uh, logo or slogan of the company or business or the food. And of course, through the help of packaging, it makes the food convenient, okay, to carry the food. Okay, and of course, the security of the food natin. Okay, type of packaging materials, we can use a uh, flexible or soft packaging materials like cellophane, aluminum, polyethylene, wax-coated papers, tetra pack, sarah film, saran film, and laminated wrappings, and others such as box, edible packages, and plastic bags. We have here the rigid containers like glass, cars, uh, glass jars, cans, rigid plastic containers like microwavable, okay, paper board, cartons, over glass casseroles, oven glass casseroles, di mga babas again. We have here the bags and boxes, bags and wooden boxes. Okay, so we have here the non-rigid materials like uh, paper such as carton, which is grease proof, uh, grease proof paper. Okay, cloth such as muslin and cheesecloth and burlap. Okay, so those are different packaging materials natin. Okay, so meron ako ipapaano sa inyo. May papapanood ako sa inyong video. Wait lang ah. This is, uh, ano siya, uh, it will help for you to, alam ko nandito yun eh. Ano saan ko? Wala ba sa, sa ko lang kung nasa channel ko ba. Alam ko nasa channel ko yun eh. Yung ating packaging materials, how to package things, the right packaging. Ah yes, nandito nga. I'll show you a video clip. Okay, about the packaging natin. See, it's just a two minutes uh, video clip.
Okay, so those are the different packaging materials. And, uh, uh, yeah, packaging materials that we can use to store our food. Okay, to maintain the quality and to stabilize the, 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 the food itself. Okay, so yun lang yung ating mga lectures for today. Okay, and now we are now ready for the actual. Okay, I hope that everyone is ready. Okay, for the actual that we will uh, conduct in this coming day, uh, day which is on Thursday, Thursday February 3. Ayan, so pwede na tayo mag-schedule. Uh, I-schedule natin yung ating actual natin ng February 3. Kasi February 5 ata mag-start na yung batch 2 and 3. Okay, so we can we can use the kids on February 3. Okay, and we will conduct different core competency in our actual natin. Okay, so uh, any questions po sa ating uh, 